Hello all, so there is a very big recruitment opportunity from Airport Authority of India and there is 436 openings and it is a pan India recruitment and people with plus two qualification and above can apply for this. So this is a very big pan India recruitment opportunity from Airport Authority of India. So we are going to see all the details, uh, all the important things they have given in the notification because the notification itself is a very lengthy in document. So we will be seeing a nutshell of everything the requirement, eligibility criteria, age, remit selection process, everything we are going to see in today's video. Please watch the video till the end. Then you can go to the description and start applying. Okay. So, there is a recruitment opportunity from AAICLAS, that is Airport Authority of India Cargo Logistics and Allied Services Company. So, this is a subsidiary of Airport Authority of India. Now, they are hiring for assistant post. 436 opening is there. And it is a pan-India recruitment. Now, which all cities has opening? Chennai, Kolkata, Goa, Kolikot, Varnasi, Srinagar, Vadodara, Tirupati, Vaisak, Madure, Trichy, Raipur, Ranchi, Bhuvaneshwar, Port Blair, Agartala, Gwalior, Amritasar, Leh, Deradun, Pune, Indore and Surat. So, lot of uh, opportunities is there. Like, like, lot of cities is there for which they have put this opportunity. And uh, qualification we have already seen it is you need to have a 12th pass from a recognized board or university with 60% for general and 55% for SCST candidate. You should be having the ability to read and speak English language and Hindi or you should be uh, conversant with the local language. Means you should be having familiarity with the local language. Age limit is 27 years uh, as per on the October 1st. Okay. Now, job profile include uh, you need to help uh, the passengers and uh, the authorities with the in the airport handling the baggages, uh, unloading baggages, those things. Okay, so that includes the job profile. Now, one more thing they have given here: the opening date of this application is from twentieth of October, and you can apply till fifteenth of November. Till that date, you can apply. Let us see more details about this nationality. You should be a candidate or a uh, you should be a citizen from India. Now, the duration of this uh, job or the tenure of this job is for three years. First one year will be considered as probation in uh, probation period. But don't worry, the payment is going to be really good. The payment detail they have given like first year it is twenty one thousand five hundred per month. Second year it is twenty two thousand. Third year it is 22,500. This is going to be the monthly payment. So even though it is for three years, uh, maybe they will extend it after the three years based on your work and performance. But the payment it is very good. Okay. So if you are interested, you can definitely apply. And also they will be providing medical insurance of up to 10,000 per year. Okay. Now what is going to be the selection process? Selection process is initially there is a shortlisting. You have to apply and then... Uh, there is a shortlisting and if you are getting shortlisted, you will be called for the personal interaction or personal interview. Now, while you are applying, uh, like while you are being called for the personal interview, they will be giving the uh, details like whether you are getting shortlisted, if uh, what all things you have to uh, bring for the interview and where you have to go for the interview. All those communications will be happening through your registered email ID. So while you are uh, registering with a specific email ID, make sure that you have to check it regularly for the communications from their side. Now, one thing they have given here is while you're going for your personal interview, you have to bring certain documents with you. That is your original certificate, mark sheet, experience certificate. If at all you are having something, personal qualification certificate, training certificate, Aadhaar card, PAN card, all these documents you have to bring while going for the personal interview. It is a must. Okay. Now, what is the uh, application process? Candidates are required to submit their application by the latest of 15th of November within the prescribed attached format through online mode only. In case of any difficulty, they have given a mail ID of the HR and also the help desk number. You can see those details on the screen now. So if you are having some difficulty while applying or if you are stuck with something, you have some questions which is not given in the uh, notification, you can either mail them in my opinion, directly call them. Okay. So calling will be like the uh, answer will be uh, obtained fast as compared to a mail because it takes time. 
So that is the application process. Now the link for application will be given in the description box. So you don't have to go into any other uh, place. You can directly click on the link. And if you click on the link, you will be going to a portal of AAICLAS. Okay. And then if you just scroll down, you can see the first advertisement or the opportunity, which is engagement of personnel at AAI Cargo Logistics and Allied Services Company Limited as assistant on a three year term contract. Okay. You can see the advertisement by clicking on the view file and then on the other side, you can see an icon which is called apply. Just click on that apply icon. That is the process. Okay. So that is the process of applying. And uh, one more thing to be noted here is you have a fees for applying. That is, there is a fees of 500 rupees for the general category, general and OBC category. There is 500 rupees fees and 100 rupees fees for SCST, economically weaker session and women candidate. So that is the fees. Now, all the things we have seen here, what is the qualification? You don't need to have any experience. So this is a purely a fresher recruitment. And we have seen what is going to be the monthly payment. What is the qualification, age limit, everything we have seen. So if you are interested for this, you can definitely apply. Uh, it is going to be, in my opinion, it is a definitely a very good opportunity for the freshers, especially who are, you know, struggling to get opportunity after 12th. So from 12th onwards, you can apply. You don't need to have a graduation. So most of the time when they are calling for engineering category or other categories, they need graduation. It is a must. But here graduation is not at all mandatory. Only qualification requirement is 12th and above. If you are having 12th, if you are passed out 12th pass, then you can apply here. So please apply and definitely try your luck. Okay. So uh, that's all for today's video. And one very important thing I want to mention here is we have started our workshops on resumes and interview preparations. Our first workshop is already completed and some people attended that. Now, uh, in the upcoming weeks, also, we'll be doing more and more workshops for resume preparation, especially for freshers. If you are looking uh, to update your resume, if you want to create a resume from scratch for any of this category, it will be definitely useful because I have included all the tips like what are the things to be included in the resume? What are the you know mistakes that you are doing? And what all things, uh, what are the points to be taken care of while creating a resume? How to uh, get reply mails, callbacks fast? What are the tricks? Those things I have included in that workshop. So if you are interested, please attend those. The communications will be happening through the Instagram mainly. So follow on the Instagram for these kind of communications uh, or, you know, informations. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for the support. If you are finding the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.